So in today's video, I want to talk to you about the idea of selling on eBay for the first time for first time uh, sellers. And those of you who might be considering taking the leap from maybe a part time situation to selling eBay full time. So uh, without any further ado, let's go. Whether you're deciding to sell on eBay for the first time or maybe you're considering taking the leap to full time, like I did, uh, from part time to full time, it's something that can be pretty scary. You know, doing something you've never done before. Will this work for me? Is this worth my time? And so I'd like to just briefly answer that and tell you it is. Yes, it is worth your time. But you can't just jump into it. There's a lot of things you have to think about before. Uh, either starting for the first time or of course even more things to think about when you're uh, making that jump to full time and um, for me I started about 20 years ago now about about 18 years ago back in 2002 and for me it was a way to supplement my income at my my job so I was a full-time employee at the job I was at and uh, this is the job that I worked for 26 years but back then I was just a uh, employee that had worked there for about maybe I think nine or ten years but I wanted to supplement my income so you know I uh, went to a swap meet and uh, found uh, I was buying some computer parts for my own computer and I ran into uh, some great deals I told myself that uh, you know I'm getting these great deals on items that if I look on eBay I'm paying three or four times the amount why not just buy the items up and flip them on eBay? And so I didn't know a whole lot about eBay and I uh, just went in, uh, did a little reading. There wasn't really any YouTube at the time, so you had to do a lot of reading to find out about how to do some of these things. And uh, I sort of just started right there and uh, went so well that a friend of mine wanted to uh, be part of it. And so we kind of did this little business venture and it kind of fizzled out you know it, it got uh, you know with kids and and um, you know just the lack of time it was really hard to juggle all that uh, when you have young kids at the time so it gave me a taste of what eBay was like and so for you new sellers um, you have to find opportunities and I just happened to come across an opportunity that just made sense to resell um, but you're not always going to have the same opportunities that maybe I had. Okay, I just got lucky and came across something that just made sense. It doesn't mean you can't start. And what you can do is, you know, like I've told people before, start with the stuff you currently own. You know, uh, may not seem like the things that are sitting in your closet have value, but to someone else, they might be looking for that particular item. Uh, do some research. Go on to eBay.com type in your item in the search go down the left hand side and it'll show you um, the sold option you click on that and so you then type in the item that you're trying to sell and it'll tell you what you can get for that item you know uh, go through your house and start that way save that money that you earn from those sales and look into going to yard sales so it's a perfect opportunity for you to grab some good deals uh, thrift stores, Goodwill, you can find some, some things. What I did back then as a new seller, I had one of those flip phones and I think I had Sprint at the time, but that particular phone allowed me to go onto eBay.com and it was like a monochrome screen and all that, nothing color crazy, but it had a search feature and I can go in there and I pick up an item and I'd search for that item to see what it's selling for. Um, whether you're going to uh, flea markets, swap meets, yard sales, goodwill, thrift stores, take your phone with you, go onto the eBay app, and start searching for some of these items that you pick up. And uh, you know you can, you might be able to pick up an item for a dollar, fifty cents, two dollars, and flip it for ten, twenty dollars. People do it all the time. And so while I don't use that model. Uh, it's how I got started and I'm sure it's how a lot of people got started on it um, but you never know until you actually try 
Now, for those of you who are actually thinking about maybe you're, you're doing this part time or maybe you, you haven't even done eBay at all. It is something that you're trying to consider. Maybe you don't, you're out of a job right now and maybe you're thinking about, well, maybe this is one way I can get back to work. Or maybe you have a job you just don't really care for um, and you want to make that leap. Well, you're talking to someone who has made that leap. And my situation, like I said, I was at my job for 26 years. And uh, January of 2019, uh, we were given the option, and I think I had you know about two months notice on this thing, where uh, you can give up your management job and take a severance package, uh, or if you wanna stay with the company, you have to lose your management position and move 3,000 miles uh, away from your family and your friends and uh, where you're used to, to living. So for me, it was, a, it was a tough decision because just giving up 20, 26 years uh, of your life and of course seniority and uh, you know, it would affect my retirement. Sometimes you have to think about what makes you happy and happiness and I think family is a big part of that. So, um, and to, to actually complicate things, my wife worked there too and she wasn't in management but um, she had the same decision to make so I made the jump and decided to go uh, take my full-time job uh, take the severance package and here it is I'm out on my own sole proprietor selling on eBay up to that point I sold maybe a pallet worth of stuff from uh, bulk.com and uh, that really turned me off of the whole idea of reselling wasn't something I really wanted to do because uh, I really was bored with it and so I took the leap anyway so what I did was we got in the car my wife and I and we went to uh, some Ross Marshalls and we did the whole online arbitrage or the retail arbitrage uh, with our cell phone looking for stuff on clearance looking for shoes doing that whole thing you know I can recall this is uh, about a year and a half ago uh, got home with a car full of stuff we're talking tennis shoes toys you know just all kinds of stuff and uh, took a big old picture you know with the stuff behind me and I was happy and proud but uh, I got to work and I got the stuff uh, listed but things weren't selling the way I wanted them to and uh, started to really worry me and I was wondering if I was maybe in over my head and I had an established account that's the thing you know um, that account because it was so old from 2002 I was grandfathered in with believe it or not two billion with a B items that I could list that's my max that's my cap ain't no way anyone's gonna list two billion items I think I had a five hundred thousand dollar cap as far as the value of the items I can list um, that's a top top uh, account so I got to start with an advantage that a lot of you uh, maybe don't have um, and so I realized that selling that way wasn't going to work even with an established account because I just wasn't getting the, the kind of sales that I needed to survive and so I started looking into liquidation I can remember I found a local liquidator in my area that sold Home Depot uh, pallets and I bought I believe two pallets for fifteen hundred dollars and a friend that, that had a truck uh, helped me out bring the uh, the stuff and this stuff was just if you can imagine a mangled big box or a Gaylord just filled with just stuff loaded in the uh, the Gaylord I mean stuff that maybe didn't have uh, these are all returns from from Home Depot things that didn't have packaging things that just were beat up okay and so when I got it home I'm looking through it and I'm going wow you know I know some of this has value but I was overwhelmed you know you had like door sets door knobs you had pieces missing and you had to get in there and evaluate test things out and I started to think wow this is a, a lot of work I thought it was you know just something I'd go in here and and list these items and uh, make a quick flip and uh, that really started to worry me I was making some money on those Home Depot returns and that's kind of what got me really looking into okay maybe I need to look into something that I'm more familiar with and the fact that uh, you know my experience with the bulk.com buy this whole Home Depot home improvement lot that I bought um, wasn't all that interesting to me 
and it was hard to become motivated because of that so what I'd recommend to you as a new seller if you're considering doing this make sure whatever you're selling not only does it have a record track record of selling on ebay.com um, but also make sure it's an item that is something that you're going to enjoy handling because it wasn't until I got into the electronics pallets that I really found stuff I enjoyed working with. You know, uh, there's nothing better than cracking open a pallet and uh, every reseller knows this, the idea of, wow, I'm gonna keep this, right? I may not even sell this, I might keep this for myself. And my, my cost on it's only five bucks, it's, it's a $100 item. Uh, it's tempting to sell it, but wow, I'd really like to have this for myself. And so it seemed like every pallet I'd get a couple of those items and it sort of made it worth, worth it. You know, I'd find those items for myself and uh, at the same time, I'm interested in the stuff I'm flipping. I think that's, that's paramount for anyone who's going to be doing this, um, even part-time or full-time. Definitely find stuff you enjoy working with. That's the biggest thing because you will get burned out in this business. And uh, once you hit burnout, it's really hard to stay motivated to keep the sales going and to be on top of it. You know, the idea of waking up in the morning, it becomes um, like a nine to five grind. You know, you get up and you're very, um, you dread going into work, you know, and if you don't do this business right, if you don't find ways to motivate yourself, like working with things that you enjoy working with, it will become a grind and um, you won't have fun with it. And that's the key to any successful business. You have to enjoy what you're doing okay because for most of us it's hard to power through when you're not motivated so really that's that's the gist of it I, I wanted to to talk to those who are thinking about reselling right now is an excellent time to start because a lot of people because of the pandemic have uh, been conditioned to stay at home and when they stay at home they shop from home on Amazon and eBay eBay has actually increased sales over the last few months because of this and it's a perfect opportunity for people who maybe are having a hard time finding employment to get in there and start reselling but don't just sell anything your sourcing is the number one way you make money in this business okay you can be uh, the best salesman but if you aren't good at sourcing you're gonna have a hard time making it in this game and so my advice to you is do your homework before you actually make that that jump to reselling make sure you have enough money to get started I'd say uh, it's good to have at least five to ten thousand uh, dollars available to work with where you can invest in maybe pallets uh, to really consider quitting your full-time job now if you're looking for employment maybe you want to do this part-time you know a few hundred bucks is a good way to start you know and go to those yard sales uh, go to a thrift store um, and look into small pallets you can go to liquidation.com and buy boxes of health and beauty or you know you name it whatever you like uh, you can do a search in their their search and chances are you're gonna find merchandise that you're going to enjoy working with and so that's that's the starting point so assess your own situation and uh, there's a lot of videos on uh, how to sell for YouTube for beginners there's a lot of information online do your homework take a good week or two before you make this decision after doing your homework researching on items that you can buy and then make the decision don't just make a decision without having your facts okay and so um, that's pretty much what I wanted to tell you about today and uh, hopefully this information has given you some uh, food for thought as to whether or not this is worth your time or something you want to pursue um, and if I help somebody out then hey it was, it was worth uh, taking the time to make this video if you enjoyed the content please like this video please consider subscribing I'm going to create and I have been creating about two to three videos a week all based on uh, reselling mostly on eBay and uh, I will have a video tomorrow uh, to discuss a situation that I encountered today and uh, I didn't want to make that video today because I didn't quite have all the information that I wanted to share with you so uh, we'll, we'll hopefully you'll tune in tomorrow and you get to check that out 
but please consider subscribing and I just want to thank you for taking the time to click on my video and until then have a great rest of your day.